was a very last second call by Chad Canals for two tires, but last second as you can get, two only, Ralph. They decided to go for right side tires for Kyle Busch. He said, if you want to win this race, I need tires. Right size it is, Phil. Ralph, Gil Martin said, if we put two tires on, we're still going to be, high, be behind Jimmy Johnson and not be able to beat him. Let's put on four tires, razor track bar because that tire car was too high. And they changed it to two tires at the last second, Matt. Right side tires only for the 24. Jeff Gordon, he's our boy, our leader. He stayed out. So Jeff Burton stays on the racetrack. Tough situation for them. And Jeff Burton, the race leader, did not pit. All those behind him did. 15 on the lead lap. Here we go at New Hampshire. Got to imagine that 31 is going to be a sitting duck, Kyle, without taking tires. As Jimmy Johnson just easily passes him yeah. and is going to drive away. And, and that, these other guys got to clear the 31 if they're going to have a shot at the 48. You know, with, with, that's 15 laps to go that Jeff's out there on these tires. And, and, and the bad part is, once, he, once you make that call, you're committed to that call for the rest of the race because you're not going to give up track position if there's a caution with eight or ten laps to go. Jeff Burton and Kyle Busch went around. We get our fourth caution of the day. The restart with nine laps to go. Jeff Gordon may have something to say about this race before the day's over with, though, the way he got that restart. Jimmy Johnson outstanding in practice here yesterday. Whoa, Kurt Busch with contact, goes. the bump and run, new leader. The Blue Deuce out in the front. Seven to go. And that, what I'm talking about. That is boys have at it racing right there. There is nothing <laughs> wrong with driving down in the corner, getting a guy a little bit out of shape. That's a, that's a classic Daryl Walter, Dale Earnhardt, whoever you want to say move. You just want to get, you want to get gone right now because you do not want the 48 back on your bumper at any time between Boy, now and the off the wall. That was a pretty good hit off the wall right there that we saw. But you're exactly right. Once you make that, once you make that, uh, once you make that bump and run, you put the bit in your mouth and you never look in the mirror yeah. again, man. There's no way you want to see that 48 coming by. Here's Bush. Three laps to go, and he's trying to hang on, but Johnson reeling him in every lap. And, <laughs> and it's, not it's coming. Here it is. It's gonna. It's gonna happen. Johnson has won four times this year, including a week ago. Two victories in 2010 for Bush. Repay, a little contact in the corner. <laughs> Same place. You just do it. And look, and look here. Look at the 14 right here in the mirror. Just hoping these guys pay. Good. Do it. Two laps to go. They're side by side at the stripe. Into one. Jimmy Johnson the advantage. But I tell you, Kurt's not giving an inch right here. Oh, and this is really oh right there because Jimmy couldn't make the pass and slide up in front of him. Now he clears him. New race leader, Jimmy Johnson out front with a lap and a half to go. Those are the top three cars. Look at this 14 right here. Just digging on the inside. Tony Stewart who started deep in the field. He's making a late race rally. Battling Kurt Busch for second. White flag has gone out. Final lap at New Hampshire. Ooh, Tony, Tony got a little loose. Look at him wash up the racetrack into the two right there. Smoke off a of turn two, able to slide in front of Kurt Busch. He now has the runner-up spot. Jimmy Johnson pulling away for the 52nd time in his career. He's going to try and claim the checkers, and he's going to do it back-to-back. -back. A win last week at Sonoma. Today, he does it in the Granite State. Johnson wins. This is five laps before we actually got the contact that brought out the caution. Yeah, and they just come off and get together right there, you know? And, and, and you know, so obviously and when we see, when we finally see the wreck happening, these guys have been racing side by side for four or five laps, if this was five laps prior.